Hi friends, welcome to Ashish DIY. Uh, I am going to do a leather project. I have a plan in my mind, but I haven't decided what to do and what not to do. I'm just going to go with the flow. And <laughs> let's see what happens. So I'm kind of working with barrel knots and I have here some sea foam uh, beads, sea foam color and white color mixed marbled beads right here. And I have these two, but I'm not so sure whether I'm gonna add it or not add it, but I still have it uh, just in case. And I'm gonna use this shank button, this metallic shank button, it's very pretty in my opinion. And then I'm gonna use that. But first I'm gonna um, make a loop for the shank button to fit. So I have a leather cord, which is, um, uh, one millimeter thickness and it's a uh, genuine leather it's made in India and I have about two 2.5 feet so I'm just going to make a loop like this then I'm gonna leave some tail because I need that tail uh, to kind of make the uh, barrel knot then I'm gonna check whether this one is going through this or not so I need about this much, okay. That's where I need, I need the loop to be. So I'm just going to reduce this a little bit more. And again, I lost touch, but that's okay. So I'm gonna take this long thread, okay. And then um, we need to keep something like this uh, a tube like this to actually uh, make our stuff easier to do with so I'm just keeping the spacer bead because that's what I have so but the thing is um, I don't even need this I can do it directly so here the short cord is on the top and the bottom uh, the longer cord is on the bottom so I'm just going to roll it like this okay and then roll it again now crisscrossing as you can see and then once twice and thrice so i rolled it three times okay this is what i have so far so i'm just going to go ahead and do this then i'm gonna take my long thread and i'm gonna put it inside all the loops that i made okay and then i'm gonna hold the entire unit in my hand and pull the long thread through the long cord through okay just hold on to it and pull it just like so now you have a barrel knot but you need the knot very close to where you want the knot to be so this is my shank button and i have a long way to go okay so i'm just moving this just up ahead so that my loop gets smaller okay there we go and now i'm checking my shank button is going through so that's where i want my loop to be so you can hold that and then kind of um, make your way up and cinch this knot and then check your shank button again it's going through just need to move a little bit more and check it one more time now it's perfect and then tighten this up okay there we go our knot is done and ready if you want you can put a dab of a gs hypo cement over there and i'm gonna leave it just like that for the time being and i'm gonna start with my uh, beads so i'm gonna put one of my um, this bead the rectangle bead 
and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bend this uh, core right here on itself okay and then I'm gonna wrap it around So I will keep this tube right here, bend my wire like this, keep my tube right in between these two, okay, just like so, okay, take this one and wrap around once, twice, And then take this long cord and put the end through this tube. Okay, now my tube is, uh, my leather is out. So I take the tube off, okay. Hold these carefully around your finger and just pull these through okay I'm just making my, my way out to towards right next to the bead. And once you're there, you can go ahead and cinch this knot up. There we go. We got the knot right next to the uh, bead. So now I'm ready to add this because I really need something in the uh, bracelet to tie it to the shank button. So I'm just going to put this one here. I don't know for some reason I have a knot over there. I'll go ahead and untie it. Add my next bead, which is rather a big hole. So I'll be sitting right like this. And now what I'm gonna do is I am thinking of using a different one. Maybe this one has a small hole and this one fits the thing very nicely for some reason i really like this this big hole we can use for two millimeter leather this is since this is only one millimeter leather i think this should be good enough so that our knot looks nice see it's not covering the knot but still it's nice so now again i'm not going to do a long one uh, so i'm just going to do this keep my tube in between just like so and then take my long cord and then wrap it around that's good enough then take this end 
put it through the tube then take the tube off okay and pull this long cord through and now you have the knot but all you need to do is you need to make sure that your knot lands right next to the bead I'm cinching the knot towards its towards the bead. I'm trying to get it right there without leaving a gap. So and here I go, I still have a lag. There we go, a knot is done. So, next we need to add the next bead. And then do the same thing again. Just put a tube right in between and then go once twice and then take it put it through the tube once you do that take it off and then slowly kind of now you know exactly where you need your uh, not to be just hold on to the two wraps don't let it go okay then kind of cinch your knot right next to your bead see it's getting bulked up but still I'm holding it together in my fingers and making sure I don't let it go so that my knot lands exactly right where I want right next to my bead right there still there's a little bit of a gap which I didn't want it in the first place but I rushed to cinch it down Okay, I can take it apart. There we go. There we go. And then just tighten that up. There. The knot is right next to my bead. So now I add the next uh, next spacer. Then again, I'm going to do another knot. So bend it in a U shape, just like that. Keep the tube right in middle, okay? And then hold all these three together in your fingers, just like that. Then take this and roll it twice and take the end and put it through the tube okay then kind of hold these two together take the tube off and pull the long leather through it and now your knot is right here so i need to bring the knot here so I just move this wire, pull this 
wire it goes automatically over there and then kind of because this one has to go the loop has to go so I just kind of cinch these with my fingers and pull the leather we have we have only one leather cord to work with that's why this knot is like this there we go we are just making our way through it see i'm rolling the thing and getting this tighter and tighter and tighter so where you want your uh, knot to be you just keep the knot loose until that time and then tighten it there we go once you do it just do this couple of times it will be easier for you and then next is the next bead so we shall go this until we reach our length of the bracelet and we need space to add the button to so you need to take into consideration that length as well okay now again bend the wire in your shape this one is a short and this one is a long keep the tube in between right here okay and then hold everything together with your fingers take the long wire and wrap it twice and then come down take the end and put it through the tube once you feed it through the tube then what you can do is take the tube off okay and then pull the wire gently out now you have this so you have to go here so what i do is i pull this thread and then i move it right there then when i pull this i loosen up my wraps just like so and then pull the cord as well just don't lose the wraps you have two wraps right there so I just rotate it and pull a little bit rotate the loops and pull rotate and pull you have to go all the way here so see I'm not um, tightening my loops I'm just rotating it like that and then pull, pulling the cord rotate and pull once you get where you want to then you can go ahead and tighten the knot and you have your barrel knot right there so the next is to add the next uh, spacer bead I'll finish up the bracelet and come back welcome back I did finish uh, knotting all the way up till here now I am ready to add my clasp so it's a shank button and I still have a lot of uh, uh, cord left if you want you can use uh, this as a anklet also so then you might need extra bead for that but for my wrist if I calculate this with the shank button it's seven and a half almost seven and a quarter I would say that's how much it is but when I try to put it on if I add one more bead then it will be way too big if I don't then it is right size so I'm just going to go ahead with it so I put the shank button here I'm going to put one more knot right uh, you can do a barrel knot here or you can do a regular knot here we can try and do a barrel knot since we need extra bit space so I am keeping making a U keeping the uh, tube in between and then going on top of the tube and my cord twice and three times you can also stop it two times 
um, because I have enough leather left, I'm okay to make a big barrel knot. Then I take the end and feed it through the tube. And once I know it has come, I just remove this tube and then pull the long cord through. Still, I'm holding the three wraps that I made in my hand. So I'm just going to do that. And then we need to figure this out first because um, we need to get this knot as close as possible at the same time without any gap here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cinch this all up see how i am rotating my coils that i made right here that way i am actually reducing the gap of leather uh, between everything so see how i am rolling it away from me so that way i feel it's getting tighter and tighter as you can see and now once it gets tighter i just go ahead and pull my cord just like so okay there we go now this is tight enough so I will go ahead and put a dab of glue right there and before doing anything I'll just test whether it fits my uh, hand or not it badly makes it but that's all uh, to it. If I add one more rectangle bead, I'll have a big bracelet and it'll be way too loose for my hands. So there we go. Let me try putting it on. Oops. <laughs> okay, one more try. There we go. It fits perfectly around my wrist. So that's all we need. Okay. And I'm checking one more time. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and uh, drop glue over here and over here in the knot. And then I'm just going to snip off the excess core. You can use GSI for cement E6000, whichever glue you want, you can use it. But I want a nice dab of glue right there. There we go. I don't want this to come off ever. So pull that through and put a dab here and in the back also and then over here as well and then i'm going to close my clip that's about it i can snip this off not very short i will just now for the time being i'll snip off just like that and then once the glue is completely dry i'll go ahead and trim off more so this is my necklace i guess it looks really nice it's not a big one but it fits perfectly around my wrist i hope you like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos a couple of times a day mostly it comes around 5 pm but 6 on the time every single day some days i might miss Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.